What's up, feeders? Welcome to yet another action-packed episode of Got Fit in Japan, and I am your host, Johnny. And uh, as you find folks know, Got Fit in Japan is about two dudes, booze, Japan, and the news. And uh, unfortunately, Jeremy's not here right now because I'm on the other side of the planet. Yes, once again, I am here in Michigan, and uh, yeah, it's it's great because here I am for all you faders that are watching this. You already know what's happening, but if you're not watching this on YouTube, which you should be, uh, uh, <laughs> I am here with the legend, Cousin Chris. Cousin Chris, yeah. welcome back. How's it going? How's it going, all you people out there in uh, YouTube or land, I guess? And if you're on podcast or just listening land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people all over the world are listening and watching this episode. Uh, thank you very much for doing so. And uh, yes, and faders, if you are getting faded with us, if you're drinking beer, whiskey, scotch, bourbon, shochu, whatever you do, make sure you're not driving. In fact, make sure you're not doing anything. Make sure you're in your basement like us. Actually, this is your man cave. Yeah, I guess it kind of is, man. It kind of is. Yeah. yeah, make sure you're in your man cave. It's, it's, uh, it's, all, it's also, of course, in my office, so it's like one of those double, double whammies, you know, from that work from home crap where... I guess you don't get away sometimes. And you know, it's kind of cool that you work and you do all your manly stuff down here because, I mean, you've got you've got your Star Wars collection behind us. You've got the figures that you're working on over here. You've got your computer where you can do your work and stuff. I mean, so basically you, you answer emails, you do conference calls, you do all that kind of stuff. And then if, like, you got a little free time, you're, like, doing a little painting or maybe playing some games that, or that something. Act, that actually would be nice, but unfortunately, no. I, I, I'm usually too busy, but but that would yeah that would be awesome. Um, but well. anyway, work sucks. We're talking about booze in the news. So what 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 are we going about about some booze? I I, I think my, my 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 cup just ran out. So I, what, I like what the, are we looking at? We're obviously related. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, your birthdays are like one month apart. You're September 27th. Exactly. I'm October 27th. Exactly Johnny's birthday's month. coming up soon, faders. Keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, it's one month. You're one month older it's than our, me. It's, it's how your birthday, honestly, is the one I've never forgotten, I think. And I don't want to tell you how old I am, or the world how old I am. But Forever yeah. 21? Forever 20. Yeah, sure. Not, not even close. But, yeah. but yes, um, it's just the easiest thing in the world. I'm like, oh, wait, it's my birthday. Oh, wait, that means that's John's birthday in a month. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, oh, it's Chris's birthday, so I've got one month to wait until, oh. But, uh, yes, uh, we're reclated, and uh, we both love beer, and this right here is the Michigan Beer Review Part 2, because uh, last week, when we covered the beers, we covered a lot of great Michigan beers, but there's three beers that we wanted to cover, but we just didn't have the time. They're, they're and not Michigan beers, here. What? I thought you said the Michigan beers. I got I got. I told you they were good beers. Got, I didn't tell you they were Michigan wait, beers. All right, well, let's see what so we got. So we have, well, all right, let's, let's, we can. Microphone's right here, by the way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see the microphone, man. No, um, so we have three different, one of these out of the three. One of the three is Michigan beers. Wait, I thought Great Lakes, okay, well, let's. So right. let's, let's. Here we go. He's the expert. I'm not I'm an expert on anything but being, well, being a jerk. But um, anyway, no. so do, do we, all right, this is the question. We have three beers. Do we do Michigan first? Do we do. You know, foreign, Michigan, foreign. I mean, I, not foreign, but you know what I mean. Like another state, basically. So we've got three beers. Uh, let's do Michigan first because this and, is the Michigan I'm Beer mistaken, Review Part two. We actually have three different states represented here, all pretty much on the Great Lakes. All right, all on the Great Lakes. So it's the Midwestern Beer Review. That would be the that would be more uh, appropriate here. There tonight. we go. That's what um, we're gonna do. Just. So what do you want? So what do we want to go from, man? Do you want to go from like east to west, west to east, north to south? I don't. I mean, I guess north to south is about the same. Oh, well, let's start off with Michigan. Since okay. we're in Michigan right now. Well, we Good are. We, we are. We are. We are out of date. But this here is a Bell's, which is kind of a staple in Michigan. Um, yep, it was. Okay. It's a pretty national brand nowadays. But uh, originally, they were like kind of one of those first starter, you know, first micro brews when people didn't know what it was. Like that was back when uh, they used to call Oberon Solson. Okay. Back in the day. And they got sued for their name. It's, a, so it's the same logo, but they had to change it from Solson to Oberon. All right, all right, cool. But, so anyway, this is a uh, it's the Oktoberfest. I don't know if you can see. It's a Bells. It's a Bells. It's the Oktoberfest. Bells from Kamazoo. And Kamazoo, we are, right? We are like a month too late. This is a Marzen, which is, you know, like a proper German beer. Ooh. But we're, we're, we're like a month too late because in reality, you know, like what's it called? Oktoberfest is actually in September, which... When, uh, I, when I was a kid, I never knew because I didn't drink beer. And then I had friends that went to Germany and stuff, and they're like, what, what, "What do you mean? What do you mean?" They're like, "It's October. We're, we're having Oktoberfest." They're like, "No, man, that was last month." Yeah, so, that's true. 
I mean, that's what I thought. When the first time I went to Europe at, uh, for one of my painting gigs. Wait, did we talk about this last week? We, we think we have. did. So this I mean, what happens when you drink. You, 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 you reminisce too much. <laughs> yeah, you, you forget things. Yeah. Sorry, Eric. So, so what do you, I guess, I don't know. What do you, what do you, what do you think of this beer? That's, I guess that's, that's the question. That's what maybe people want to know. I don't know. Maybe they don't. They maybe don't really care. But. I think everybody wants to know everything about this beer. Okay, well, give me a Kampai. Here we go. Kampai. That's I think the color is nice. It's really nice golden. It's, it's a nice. very it's a very October beer color, right? I guess it's, it's kind of like a, a nice amber, you know, I mean, amber, nice amber kind of color. Dark gold. Dark, yeah, goldeny. If you pour it in a pint, oh. you get a decent, you know, you get a decent head, I guess, on it. You know, it's like a little frothy. It's um I love this. That's what I, that's what I told you to buy this today is because you were you were the, a lot of the beers you were looking at were were knock you out beers. They were all like eight percent, eight eight plus percent. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you really realized that. That's so why I was like, no, no, why don't we steer over this way towards a drinkable beer. And I didn't get to. Oh, I got one drinkable beer and one not mm -hmm. as not as easily drinkable beer. Not not that it's not easily drinkable, but it has a little more percentile points onto it. Once you start getting into percentile points, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's good that you helped me out because the thing is, it's just like, all right, some of those beers look pretty awesome. Like, I mean, like double, triple, like IPAs, that just sounds amazing, whatever. I want to yeah. try everything, you know. But it's just like, you know, once you point it to like the alcohol content, it's like 12%. I'm like, uh, I'll have two of those and then good night. <laughs> Podcast well, is over. Well, like, with, with like, so with like a lot of the double and triple mm -hmm. IPAs, you're, you're, you're literally like doubling and tripling the grain bill. Yeah. Or how many grains you're making to make five, like, nerd alert. So if you're making five gallons of beer and you use X amount of pounds yeah. and you're like, triple it up it's a triple in a way you know but that also means you have that much more sugar available to eat to turn to alcohol mm -hmm. and if you use a uh, a different yeast or whatever you can get up to that ridiculous potency and still taste good mm -hmm. and some of them are actually scary because that they they taste incredibly good mm -hmm. um i think bell's two hearted Oh, like double, the fish? yeah, but they have a yeah. double. They have a double hearted or something. I mean, I think it's called double hearted. Maybe it's called. I don't know. It's something scary, but it's you know, it's like a ten and a half or eleven percent beer. So, oh. for every beer you drink, you're really drinking two. And I, I know that you know, like in the, in the weird, weird way, alcohol sometimes stacks up. I don't know if this is a scientific thing or just complete nonsense, but mm -hmm. I feel that you um, sometimes you can just get. You can get buzzed pretty quick and not really realize it. I mean, yeah, you'll, you'll drink. I mean, the beer is really it goes down as smooth as something that's five percent, and you drink the whole thing, and next thing you know, you're kind of in the bag. You know what I mean? Like because you you, you drink oh, you drink a half a six pack or four or five four or five beers, and normally you're just probably half in the bag or maybe in the bag, but now you're you're just tanked. You know and. You don't realize it because it goes down so smooth and so fast. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. It's, it's, it's you know, you start drinking a beer at 6 o'clock at night and 8 o'clock, you're, like, trying to go to bed. Uh, you know, you're not trying to go to bed. You're out. You're definitely out. And the thing is, a lot of those beers are really delicious, you know? And I love hoppy beer. I love IPAs. So the thing is, if I didn't know that a beer is, like, 12%, you know, and I, and I drink it, I'm like, oh, this is delicious. I'm going to drink it fast. You know, I like to drink beer fast. What? I don't know. It's just what I do. And the thing is, it's just like, I mean, I if you drink... I drink couple beers fast, always. Yeah, well... Is, that, is, it just, is it just a family thing? It might be. Maybe it is. I don't know. It like, might I, be. I like, know. uh... I, yeah, people are like, dude, you had like three pints, I just had one. I'm like, all right, cool. But, but, but yeah, at that I point, that, at that point I slow down, fast. Yeah. and everybody else, like, catches up to me eventually, and we're all nice and... Nice and you know having a good old time by pint pint four or five probably but you know that's true you gotta get gonna have to get closer to this microphone by the way so we should be about like right here yeah, yeah. it's about like half an arm but um yeah <clears throat> we've got a microphone this time so yeah hopefully it sounds a lot better you can than see the last it right podcast. here it's, yeah. unless unless Johnny edits it out I'm not gonna edit anything out I mean this is just it's actually kind of funny we mm -hmm. even have this uh, poppy filter thing well it looks like a steering wheel that looks cool man yeah wow. Maybe we're like on a roller coaster or something. A roller coaster of booze, yeah. Roller but, coaster um, of booze. Now, I got a question, Chris. Yeah. So, like, I might you, have an answer. Yeah, I think you definitely do because uh, you brew beer way longer than I did. And um, when you brew like uh, double IPAs and triple IPAs, are they more fattening? Do they have more calories because you're using oh, yeah. more sugar? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, you're basically you're putting more of everything into it. I mean, you're, mm. you're kind of like the, like the double or triple. It's not technically usually a double or real triple, but yeah, in that sense of an IPA, but what you're doing is you're putting, you're basically, instead of serving someone like a beer, you're selling them almost like a syrup. You know what I mean? You, you're, 
you're putting more of everything into it. So, wow. And one of the big problems, I, I read this thing in a magazine years ago, mm -hmm. and it was like, beers to stop drinking today. And it was one of those like clickbait, you know, god, god awful things. And well, I if usually, it has beer, I'm going to click. I'm well, like, oh, and I usually don't, I don't uh, usually click on that nonsense, but I was just yeah. like, well, I'm like bored. Let me check this out. Clickety click. Yep. And so it was talking about beers to not drink. And most of them were kind of the big, at least American beers. And the, the mm. reasoning was was like high fructose corn syrup and weird stuff that they put in the brews. And yeah, I, I, I don't condone and agree with it or whatever. But I'm and a lot of people say they don't do it now. But a lot of these people are just making beer to just like sell like you know piss beer. I mean, it was that was the way that was the norm for like you know probably our entire youth. You know what I mean? Nobody <laughs> yeah. drank. Nobody, who who knew except for like what we we're growing up? What was there like imports? I think it was. It was. Do you want domestic or import? And domestic men, oh, yeah. Budweiser, like Miller, you know what I mean? Like, you couldn't even, Coors, Coors was almost like an import, at least mm -hmm. here. But, like, you know, then you had, like... Molson Ice but, was but, an import, but, but Yeah, that. but then there was yeah. imports, it would be, like, Molson, yeah, Molson. you know, Heineken, you yeah. know, um, St. Polly's Girl, di different, you know, and yeah. most of those were not even, they're not bad beers, but they weren't really anything different, you know. It, it was like, it was yeah, it, it wasn't like some this whole weird beer revolution that happens, you know, like, years ago or whatever, like... like 2002. I have no idea what it was, but I just know people started. I, do. I mean, I remember, I don't know. I was not legal to drink when it started because I remember having to get like old Joe on the corner to buy me beer or something. I don't, I don't even know if that was really his name, but we, yeah, we used to get we used to get Solson twenty two ounces, which became Bell's Brewery used to make twenty two ounces. Deuce. And and they the were dirty they, deucey deuce. They were just they were you know I don't know we, we were like as, as not just as kids. I don't I mean like that. I'm saying as a beer drinker, I was like, man, that's actually really tasty. This is not. This is not the whatever was, I'm trying to think of what was like kind of hip or what was tasty then. It was kind of like, you know, some people were buying the uh, imports and other people were drinking like kind of maybe Samuel Adams variations that had yeah. flavor. Uh -huh. You know, it was when people were trying to really, when you start to see maybe a flavor kind of thing going on, at least in American beer, yeah. where it wasn't just like Budweiser, Miller, you know what I mean? We need we need good stuff. You know, like now, nowadays it's, or not nowadays, it's like, it's when you started to see like, um... I remember Samuel Smith's, which is, I think, I believe is an English, you know, like, this, or brewery. But, you know, they had, like... Samuel um, Adams? No, no, Samuel Smith's. Oh. And they had, a, like, an oatmeal stout and a Tadacaster stout, I believe. Yeah. And, I mean, it like, you drink this beer and it tasted like you were eating an oatmeal cookie. I it can only like drink solid. one of those. No, like, yeah, yeah, but, one of those. but it was just one of those things. Like, as, as, as somebody had drank, like, shit beer before that, you're like, you drink that and you're like, it's like eating a cookie. Like, this, yeah. is, this is a new experience. <laughs> Christmas like, cake. Like, you can drink beer and it tastes like this this is like eating and drinking but yeah. you know and you know that's when you started to realize that it's not just fucking piss loggers for fucking that five percent alcohol that you drink all day and you know hoot, hoot and holler you know what i mean you're like oh man there's and some of these beers you can really gotta take seriously because they are really potent and you might want to maybe, maybe just have it one one after dinner or something make sure your belly's full of some food too so you can digest it and like not just before you do it but like uh. You kind of want that, you know, I mean, you want a little bit of energy or, you know, like something to, you know, soak that up when Listen, you start getting that, high, high, high alcohol, man. Where them, whenever you go drinking, make sure you have something in your stomach. Because if you don't have something in your stomach, you're going to black out and you're going to wake up the next morning with a massively fucked up hangover with massively fucked up problems. And if hey, you're, you're in the in US? jail, at an ex-girlfriend's house, or even worse, at an ex-wife's house. Do you know how fucked up that would be? You wake up, you're like, oh, shit. And Where am I? Oh, my God. Oh my God! This is too close. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh my God! Am I wearing clothes? I'm not wearing clothes. Oh my God! You know, yeah, it gets bad, dude. It gets really dark. So make sure you got something in your stomach. That, it's a rule. It's a yeah, no, you have rule. to. You have to. Like, yeah, like I, I, I eat like a bird a lot of times, and I ha and I have to. I have to make sure I at least get like some bread, some pasta, something that is going to stick to my ribs, and carbs. make sure that I get yeah, some kind of carbs, and I'm like. Cool, tomorrow I can wake up and feel good because I do not want to sit there, enjoy my evening, and the next day wake up like, ooh, like I want to die. That just is not fun. Yeah. Oh, you know, I got a question for you, man. So you said that before you are 21, you started experimenting with beers. When I, before I was 21, I would just pay homeless people for like pints of like, I would get rum because I thought it was kind of cool. Like, uh, I want a pint of rum, you know? And they're like, well, what kind? I'm like, whatever $5 gets me, you right. know? Well, it's kind of like a pirate <laughs> thing though, right? You're like, yeah. I need some rum. I would get rum and I would get whiskey 
And uh, that would be about it. And then, you know, I'd just, you know, they'd come out and just like, like, give me a pint. I'm like, yeah. Me and my friends would just drink that straight. I didn't drink, I didn't get into like actually drinking, drinking beer, you know, until I was like, probably like 25. I was in San Francisco and shit. And was, no, I wasn't 25. No, it was like maybe like 20, 20, I don't know. It was like like right before I came to Japan. Because in San Francisco, my, my drink was uh, rum and, no, yeah, it was a rum and Coke. Just because, you know, I could gauge it. i get a rum and Coke, I'd sip on it, and I wouldn't drink it, drink it. You know, I'd just sip on it because like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't go to bars all that often. I, I was always DJing and shit. Well, I don't oh, know. Yeah, well, yeah, that'd be, I mean, well, when you're DJing, you're working. So as as cool as it sounds, you're not the person actually. And that's saying you're not having fun, mm-hmm. but you're not. Yeah, you, and you know is what I you know because I've I've done it myself too. But you know what I mean is like yeah. you're not you're not the one out there like partying. You're uh, the one who's out there first. working. Well, <laughs> you know you're working, and you know maybe 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 you have a, a couple uh, libations while you're uh, do, doing your job. But you know at the end of the day. You, you're kind of working, so you're not you're not getting you know rip roaring like everybody else. You yeah, know I mean? I'd always have like maybe one or two rum and cokes before I would DJ or while I'm DJing, and then after that, you know, I just get rum and cokes. I didn't really drink beer until I came to Japan. When I came to Japan, everybody just drinks beer and nihonshu and sake and stuff. So then I, I kind of switched over. It, it, I did drink beer in the states. Don't get me wrong. When I was younger, so a lot of the beer, I, a, a lot of the beers in um. Japan though, are they not like more? Surprisingly, of a, it's more of like a lager pilsner thing. No, everything's or, lager. Or is every, okay, everything's top five lager. Are, top five are lager, and they're all five point okay. five percent. Okay, yeah, well that's just average. Like no, I don't mean like that, but that's like that's an average thing. Not, like, not that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's no. that's average. I mean, it, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it is, but every time I go to like, um, you know, say like a Japanese steakhouse, I always got to get some stupid, you know, like some Japanese beer. I don't even know if I like, you know, not that I don't like it, but it's like, I, it's one of those things. I, I feel like an actual tourist every time I go to some of these restaurants. I'm like, can I get like this? Because isn't that what people drink? And I, I don't know. You know, I mean, just get a beer. You know, no, I mean, yeah, I, I get it. But I'm just trying to say is, but I don't know. I guess we just also they say win, win or roll. I, uh, you know, that's no. cool. No, okay, okay. The thing is, though, I'm very curious about the Japanese beer and uh, the, what you call it, the Japanese restaurants here in Michigan because I went to Berlin uh, many years ago, like maybe it was 2019, the last time I went there for painting, right? And uh, the organizer, one of the, or- one of the organizers and his girlfriend took me to a uh, ramen restaurant. They're like, Johnny, you have to try the ramen here. It's so good. And I'm like, all right, great, let's try it. So we went to this one ramen restaurant in Berlin called Kokoro, which means heart, right? Okay, okay. So we went there. And uh, we went in there, and uh, there's a Japanese uh, like uh, ramen master, and he was there, and he's like, "She's all sorry, whatever." And it was it was fantastic. The ramen was super delicious. It was amazing. But I ordered an Asahi Super Dry because back then that was my beer. I always got Asahi Super Dry with all the ASA silver ASA or whatever it is. It's like it's, it, it's like it's like yeah. I, I guess I would get those all the time. It's like, it is a Japanese beer, correct? It's a Japanese beer. Okay, but the thing okay. Is, so though, I don't I don't feel like a complete asshole when I go to a no, Japanese no, no, restaurant no, 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 and order one of those and think I'm actually ordering Japanese beer. I am. But you are. But the thing is, like when I went there, uh, they gave us, they, what was it, was it bottles or cans? I, I might have, I don't know, I, I can't remember. Or maybe Silver it was pints. Bullets. Yeah, but anyway, they gave us the beers, the Asahi Super Dry, and I drank it, and I was like, this isn't Asahi Super Dry. And they're like, I think it was bottles. I think it was bottles, actually. Okay, okay. And so, I mean, I could, I could call the organizer later, but whatever. If you want to know, I will call the organizer, right? We're still really good friends. But the thing is, like, I was drinking, I was like, this tastes completely different. It, it tasted bad. It didn't okay. taste good. Like I mean, okay. I mean, uh, Japanese beer tastes really good. I really love Japanese beer. I, I, I know, think but... I think it's really it reminds me almost of, like a lot of it reminds me of like and this is not a bad thing, but like yeah. a Pilsner Raquel, which is basically just like a really crisp and clean. Yeah, it yeah. just it almost tastes like spring water with a fucking drop of hops or something. You know what I mean? Like just crisp and clean and good. You know, because like, it's, it's a not, good way it's to not, put it's it. Not yeah. overly, it's not overly complplicated. It's yeah. not like Westernized no. ten thousand you know ten thousand IBUs or ten thousand. You know, like uh, mm-hmm. per- percentage points. You know, what I mean, aged in you know whiskey barrels and blah 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 blah. It's just a simple crisp beer a lot of times, and that, mm-hmm. there is I there is definitely a place for that. And I think it's called dinner a lot of times. You know, what I mean, like yeah, because I'd rather drink that than some of the, some of the stuff that you know. It, it's why I drink wine a lot of times with dinner or or mm-hmm. something else. I don't drink. A lot of people do. <laughs> but what I mean, it's like I don't drink my, my a hearty beer with dinner because it's more of a dessert to me or something. It's really? you know what I mean. It's oh. just it's heavy. It's filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. lot of carbs and calories probably on top of it. Uh, I mean, porters, yeah, but no, I mean, well, porters aren't any more than anything else. It's, they just have they just have a toasted uh, toasted grain. I thought so porters just, are heavier. They're more fattening. 
Come no, no, not, not usually. So, so it, it depends on the it depends on the grain bill, obviously. But like some of that is just because it's been toasted longer, so your grains are darker. So <laughs> kind of like um, if you make if you depending on say say if you're making tea, right? When you pour the water through the tea leaves. Depending on the color of the tea leaf will depend on the color of the water, right? So some, yeah. some stuff will be green, some will be red, Ooh, some will that's be black. Put it, yeah. It's the same kind of thing like that. You know what I mean? It's just it's just really about like it's it's a darker it's a it's a, a darker cooked grain, and it, it maybe has a bolder flavor. It, it just seems heavier when I drink like a porter. I, mean, I drink it especially like an oatmeal stout or something well, like that. So, like, so 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 I think well you really can't think, be good for the gut. We'll we'll see what happens here because we actually have a porter to drink for tonight. What? Let's, let's and it's not a what did you and, and I need a beer because I'm out. So, but this beer is um not a stout as. John lovingly recalled it. It is a porter, so it yeah, is a right. different beer. But um, this is from Great Lakes Brewing Company. <coughs> this is called the Edmund Fitzgerald. Well, beautiful graphic. It is a beautiful graphic. Beautiful graphic. Um, the Edmund Fitzgerald, unfortunately, was a ship that went down in stormy weather, and it went down I, on the Great Lakes. I, on the Great Lakes, uh. and it went down. I, I, I think I, I all right. So like I'm not I don't know the history of it, but I think it was like the 40s or 50s or something. So there's like relatives of the people still alive. I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right. So let's be uh, so let's be respectful. Respectful. Yeah. And this is a six uh, percent, and I think this is a tribute actually to that to those brave men and women that went down. Do you know what I mean? So yep. this, they were. It, it was just a um, like a cargo vessel, and they just hit rough waters. I okay. Mean, the, the Great Lakes are really nasty. Yeah. Be, before we move forward. Um, because we got people all over the world, uh, okay. people from like Israel, people oh, yeah. from India, watching this and listening to this. Um, yeah, so for all you feeders know, Michigan's surrounded by the Great Lakes, and the Great Lakes are pretty much like mini oceans. And I was actually, I was, oh no, I was at uh, Belle Isle yesterday. So, but anyway, Belle Isle is not on the Great Lakes; it's close. But the thing is, it's just like when you're on the Great Lakes, right? If you're on a beach and you look straight ahead, you don't see the other side. You don't see the other side. Yeah, Belle Isle, you see Canada, you see Windsor. I was like, yo, yeah. what's up, Trevor? What's up? What's up, our Canadian homies? What up? You know, what but... Up? Um, what yeah. up, Bubs? What up, Bubs? Yeah, so uh, anyway, and that's cool. It was cool to go to Belle Isle. But anyway, uh, that's not here nor so, there. But anyway, these Great Lakes are called Great Lakes these? because they are mini Great. oceans. They, they're, yeah, definitely. So this is a 6% by volume. It is a 37 IBU, which I don't know, some places tell you this stuff... But basically, IBU is how bitter it is. And the lower the number, the less bitter it is. The higher the number, the more it is. So, like, mm. um, for instance, there's a beer that's, I think it's called Diablo. And their joke is it's, like, 0. .666 or something is the IBU. You know, Good name. Like, but, but you know, like, because it, it's bitter. Um, according to this bottle, it says, uh, here we go. Robust and complex. Our porter is bittersweet tribute to the legendary freighter's fallen crew. Taken too soon, the November gales of November. Wait, too soon when the gales of November came early. So yeah, like I said, it's a tribute kind of beer, but it's 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 also like a, a, a. Other than that, it is a beer that you can buy like on a daily like a daily basis out here. I mean, like not out here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a, an Ohio brewery. Oh, it smells delicious. And it's and the reason is is because it is on the Great Lakes, but it is mm. not in Michigan. It's it's on. Um, it's in Ohio. It's in Ohio. Yeah, a uh, beautiful color. It's got a very, very dark, almost a purpley dark. If you look at it, yeah, closely. it's like it's it's like not really see throughable. Obviously, as you can probably see on camera, see throughable. And the top is the top <laughs> has a nice little like I don't know, it's uh, like a tan. No, I like it. Um, it's like it's like a. I mean, it's a. It, it almost looks like a. It's kind of like the same color as your dog. Yeah, yeah, probably okay, is. Ellis. And what's it called? And I will say it's almost like micro bubbles. Almost like it's on nitro, but it's not. Nice. You know what I mean? The micro bubbles. So here. you Come by. Well, you don't got a glass, so I'll try it in glass. Wow, there's definitely a heavy beer. Um, it's good though. It's really good. Now, I don't know about the rest of the world, but around here, and it hasn't actually gotten that cold yet. But around here in Michigan, it starts to get cold around now, and I guess in me and my good, uh, my, my my one of my good buddies, you know, things is. When it gets cold, it's time to drink more stouty beers and more mm. dark beers. So, like, in the fall, I'll start drinking kind of, like, more, like, nut browns and, 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 and darker beers. And then once it gets to the winter, you know what I mean? It's, it's a good time for all kinds of stouts. 
you know, um, is that a trend for voters. everybody, or is that just you guys? Um, I, I think a lot of people actually follow this trend. I think if you look mm-hmm. at like, I think some of the times it has to do with and that could be confused with this, but sometimes kind of like Oktoberfest or different mm-hmm. things is it has to do with when when the beer was ready naturally back in the day. Yeah, because you know stuff was say they would, lagering means it was left in like I think a cave basically, but it was like under X amount of degrees is what they stored these these mm-hmm. new kegs at. And back in the day, it, but they could, you know, they called that lagering. So it was like, yeah. oh, you're lagering your beer. Well, it, it just means that you put it in a cave or something at like 40 degrees for. Or six like months. a basement, usually, right? Sure, Probably sure. Or, or, or whatever you had. Whatever you had. Yeah, <laughs> sell, whatever you had to make it, Whatever you had to cool it <laughs> the down. storage to, room. Well, no, to the right temperature because you, yeah. you need it, like, not freezing, but you need it cold. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's cold lagering. Where, oh, like, yeah. where like, ale, like, ales are done, like, kind of like not. Well, they are done pretty fast, too, but they're done hot. I guess you know what I mean. Like <coughs> and the thing is, though, oh, wrong tube. <coughs> this is great for audio. <coughs> this check, is check, check. Sorry. This is how real got fit in Japan is. We're not gonna edit this shit out. Most podcasts they would. <coughs> Unfortunately, like if he needs that Heimlich, um, we're gonna find someone to do that because I'm, I'm gonna run. <laughs> really? But, but oh. here we go, man. <laughs> maybe, 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 Don't you know. I love my family? No, but okay. But the thing is, okay, all right. Yeah, so, I do. All right, so uh, stouts. Stouts are generally from like uh, I think wait, Guinness is from oh, Guinness is obviously from Ireland. So it I is. guess like stouts are generally from the UK. What about porters? Are porters from the UK as well, or is that kind of like an American? No, I, it, no, I, I, I American I, stout. Is that what it I, is? I don't actually. I'm, unfortunately, like I as much as I like to dwell, I dwell down histories of this and that and the other thing. Yeah. Um, I have never dwelled down the 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 porter <clears throat> kind of like franchise or whatever. I don't mm. because certain beers are certain like characteristics. Like for, hypothetically, if you if you did a beer competition and you set your beer in, yeah, you could make the perfect version <clears throat> of this. But if you misname it, it will fail. And I don't know. Like, it's a lager. Well, no, I'm just saying. It's like if you if you entered a you know like like a nut brown ale as a stout, you'd fail. But if you ordered if you entered it as a nut brown ale, it might be the best one in the world. You, if you mislabel it, you can be wrong. Um, so I, I guess I'm making more of excuses, but I I don't know. I mean, like all I know is. I think I think like uh, I don't think a stout's is like a, I don't I don't think or I don't think a porter's as thick as a stout. A port's more ale-y. To me, it has more. It has more. Um, what's it called? Usually more um, grain. Yeah, no, this is very grainy. It's very delicious. There, there's obviously, I mean, like I said, this is like 37 IBUs. So, like, I think is what it says. Yeah, 37 IBUs. 37 IBUs. Yeah, but which this... means that which means that like there's basically no hop flavor. You know what I mean? Or, or very little hop flavor. I get some there's... hops in this. Oh no, I there's definitely hops. hops. What I mean is, yeah, it's not it's not like an IPA where like IPA well, it's you not have IPA like, like, have like 60, 70, 80, 90 something yeah. stupid where it's like. It's like punch you in the face with, you know, almost like that citrus bitter, you know. You don't get that with this. It's just yeah, I don't like the grapefruit hops. That's one hops that I don't like. But, yeah, you know, the thing is about this beer, it's kind of got this chocolatey kind of taste to it. It does. And it has uh, like definitely a natural chocolate. No, no, no. What I mean is, like, it's not without, like, we're not putting chocolate in this beer is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's awesome. By the toasting of the grains, you're getting chocolate notes. It's awesome. Yeah, there's definitely chocolate. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, you can definitely tell the hops, especially in the aftertaste. Um, I think it's a smooth, a smooth porter. It's a, it's a fun beer to drink. Um, I will definitely, if I was at a party or if I was out, I could have like maybe two or three of these. That's my limit of these. Then I yeah. switch over to lager. I think. I, I I think it's a limit. I think I would agree it's a limited beer just just by nature it's a of fun beer to drink. Actually, this it's, is a fun no, it's, beer. I, I love this beer. This is actually this <laughs> actually was like my go to for multiple years. At like, really? if, I, if I went to the bar. I kind of, you know, if I, if I if they had an Eddie Fitz, I'd get Edmund Fitzgerald. It's like I, I, I know that was for for years, you yeah. know. Um, <coughs> it's a good some, starter beer, you know. If I was like twenty one years old, I didn't know shit about beer. I would drink this if I could drink this Ooh. one first. I'm, uh, if I drank it's it, I'd be good, like, that's not a good thing to say. I don't think, but I agree with hey, you because I'm like, this is it's, good. It's, it's you it, know, like I said, yeah, like you get those like a little bit of chocolatey notes to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And fuck, it's a six <laughs> percent beer. You don't realize it. That's actually the, it's it's like the hidden gem in it in a way. <laughs> yeah. Like unless you're not trying to have buzz, but the reality is is like you drink this sucker, it, it, you feel like you're drinking a four percent beer or something. You don't taste yeah, any. Yeah, you booze. don't taste any. There's booze. no booze yeah, in this. Like no, like no. In, in, for mouthfeel from nah nothing 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 at all. It tastes nothing almost like all. it almost tastes like you know like <clears throat> it's as bad. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's like if a little kid had um coffee for the first time, they're like, oh my god, it's gross. 
But you know what I mean? But they have the like a latte with cinnamon. Yeah, but, but I'm just, I mean, I'm not trying to condone any of the kids' stuff. I'm just trying to say it's like, it's one of those beers where you don't really realize it. It's a, it's it's kind of like the, the Hannah Mona Lisa skirt. It's kind of <laughs> sneaky. You know, because so, it's, it's, it's so potent, but it's so easy drinking. It's so approachable. So Great Lakes Porter, the beer for all you beer starters. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe we'll sell it. You should sell that, man. I just did. There's a lot of kids that watch the show. That's... Not a good thing. That's not good at all. By Especially, the way, you must be 21 to drink, at least in the United States. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about anywhere else. So Japan is 20. Uh, I don't know anything about I'm just saying. I'm just telling you, I do not condone underage drinking. That's all I will say. Yeah, you got to follow the rules. But, um, yeah, but this is a great starter beer. Um, this is fantastic. I really like this. And, I mean, the it's artwork good. is actually kind of brilliant. Yeah, isn't it's, it? It's kind well, of really, it's not brilliant. It's just really well done. Very, very sorry, well executed. Sorry, yes, that's it. yes, it is. It is really <laughs> well done. It's... Yeah, if you look at it, the boat actually looks like it's like kicking ass in the seas. It doesn't look like it's. It doesn't look like the it's Titanic. About to go down, Whenever yeah. you see the Titanic or an image of the it's Titanic, it's like broken in half. Yeah, it's like it's falling. going down. It's people jumping off the edge. Ah! You know, the rich, right rich people get their boats where all the like, poor people are dying. Poor people, you know. Yeah, right. But this it's right here. But this looks like a brave boat battling the seas. This looks cool, and I love the color scheme too. It's at night, you know. It's a great, great image. It'd be a great, like, it would be a great poster for like a wall, especially yeah, in your yeah, man I, cave. I, like, I mean, I don't know. If you, <laughs> I, I guess one day this could be a man cave if I fucking turned it up. But um, uh, yeah, 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 kind but of it, a man cave, Chris. <laughs> just because I have like an eight foot table to play nerd games on does not mean anything that this is a man cave. Is there a name for these kind of games? Is it like they're called miniature games, Johnny? Miniature games. Okay, so we are professional people, and we take stuff seriously. You. Are... That's what I've heard. <laughs> you... Well, when it comes to these, actually, to be honest, no. There's 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 like more, there's like multi there's, there's there's like what YouTube channels with hundred thousand people. So I'm not gonna get you started on this nope, topic. I'm not getting on it. I'm not even getting on it. I'm, I'm trying to say is yeah. I've got this much beer left. Here, come by. That's what I'm trying to say. Beer. Yeah. Beer yeah. left. Uh huh. See, he has this much. I I don't know. I don't know how much I have. <clears throat> I'm I drinking fast. These are my first couple of beers. Obviously. But yeah, I, think, uh, I think I had like some of those Zimas earlier or something, whatever those those things are, man. Those they're called White things. Claws, okay? No, I, no, I don't. I, no, I buy the cheaper <laughs> versions, man. I'm I'm too. They're all the same to me. They all taste like they're all kind of crap. So I just buy the cheapest one I can get. You had to explain what a White Claw is. Oh, it's it's just a god off. It's just like a we don't have white, we don't have White Claws in what? Japan. So when, I, when so, I came here, but the last time I came here, like everybody drink spark, a White Claw. It's, I was it's, like, what the fuck it's, is it's this? literally like sparkling water with a shot of vodka and, a, and probably like a shot of juice. Or something like that, and that's pretty much how to explain it, right? I mean, it's almost like the the the, the, the chintziest mixed drink you can buy at the bar. Wait, wait, you buy that at a bar? The, the well, cans well, are well, so no, small; no, they're like the no, size of I mean, like Red Bull cans. Oh yeah, they, they sell at bars all day. But what I'm trying to say is, like, the alcohol ABV in it is what, like, a quarter of a shot. It's like buying fruit juice, getting a get, having having somebody put a quarter of a shot in and charging you ten dollars for it. Oh, so it's like four percent. Oh yeah, they're like four and a half percent. That's why. So yeah. it's like a session a drink. You yeah, drink I mean, like well, the, re- the only reason I mean, the, I shouldn't say the only reason. The reason I like them because some of them are t- actually kind of semi tasty or drinkable. But mm-hmm. they're it's one of those deals where it's like, okay, cool, it's like five percent, and I can drink twenty of these before like I'm in the bag. You know what I mean? Where can you if, drive after drinking those? Well, you can't legally drive after drinking anything, so I would oh, say yeah. no. But oh yeah, um, that depends how 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 how. On wise you are, how um, what's a, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Is brave stupid. you are, oh, stupid. Brave. <laughs> I would say but stupid. I was saying brave, yeah, but not, but, no, but brave, it's not brave, stupid, stupid, stupid. yeah, but it's not stupid. a smart thing to do. Do not do it. We do not condone it, condone it on this, even though we enjoy in, embellishing or indulging. We're in a man cave. We're like below ground. Yeah, we're, we're supposed to, we're supposed to be doing this, but we're, when we're in like in a bomb driving, shelter. You should not drive ever, ever, ever mm-hmm. after having some beers. Like you just shouldn't do. It, plus, plus it costs, it most. I, I would imagine. I don't know about every other country, but I know in the U.S. It is so ungodly expensive. It's probably to get caught nowadays. That, oh God! Yeah, that you might as well just like fee. yeah, yeah. Oh. Like that's the price of like three new cars and a house. Like you, you will be paying till you're like eighty years old, and then you're gonna cry about not not being able to do anything. Oh. It sucks. Yeah, so, drinking and driving do not sucks. Do, it. do not do it. Yeah, stay away from skateboards, bikes, motorcycles, anything with wheels. Even if you get those little fucking wheels in your shoes, don't do that either. You know, man cave ask, bar. Ask, ask, for, ask for, for a couch. You know what I mean? Uh, well, that's uh, what I'm doing tonight. I'm no, I'm just sure saying, no, yeah, ask for a couch. You know, like a like a like a what, air mattress, a pillow. I mean, 
five by five eight foot sleep in the park. Your house, you know, <laughs> help that might even uh, that might be better than getting arrested that night. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, at least in the states. I don't know, about, like I said, I don't know about the rest of the world mm. how it works, but I know here it's just not cool. So yeah, actually, Japan's hyper strict. Like you can't drink at all. Like when I was working at a bar and when I was working at Gamuso back in the day. Yeah, people that come in for shows because we had like a we had a stage, whatever. So like we'd have bands and comedy shows, mm-hmm. or whatever. And uh, yeah, there's some people that come in that were driving, and they would just be drink. What would they drink? They would drink non-alcoholic beer or whatever. And actually, yesterday when I was downtown hanging out with JD, you know, like JD wanted to go to this bar. He wanted to take me to the Green Dice. Like we gotta go to the Green Dice. You haven't been to the Green, green Dice? Yeah, the green dice. Is dope. yeah. It's fucking it's right, right there. It's I on that. Place. I think it's on Lafayette or whatever. So anyway, he's like, let's go. So we went there and stuff, you know, for sliders. And so I had a couple of sliders and JD's just throwing the drinks back. He's like, you got to have one, man. And I was like, okay, we are downtown Detroit. We're like the cops. You could have a dead body like hanging from your car and then you might get pulled over. Right. But uh, yeah, I I was still just like, no, I'm just drinking tonic water. And uh, yeah, that's how it is. So yeah, do not drink and drive. That's my point. And uh, another point. Let's move forward. Okay, let's chug these. Well, I don't here, want here. to chug them. But cheers. No, I, no. I think we're both about the about the the, the tails of these. Mmm. Mm. All right. So we're at the last of our. After this, we're just just drinking beer, I guess. Okay. So, yeah. Here. Oh, what's this? This is <clears throat> an, from a different side of this. From the state, well, it's not the state. This from is, the UP? Th- no, this is from <laughs> uh, these are from Indiana. Oh, Indiana! Indiana. So this is called Three Floyds. This is the Barbarian Haze IPA. Three Floyds. You have a cool graphics. Have, Look at that. They have like really cool graphics. Oh, and then Ooh. one of my favorite things is Woo. the spoof of. So this this company is spoofing off. <laughs> oh, look at that! If you are into models at all, you will know exactly what this is a spoof of. And um, yeah, it's like the model boxes. Yeah, it's like, the, like the, uh, to, my, to me, to my, I, I'm, I'm gonna butcher military the military planes. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, I'm gonna butcher the name, but they make they make RC cars. They make you know, I mean, I, I have a couple of RC cars. I, I, are you still got those grasshoppers? I have a grasshopper, <laughs> and, and I even have a monster truck with the, the, that's the the hippie van. You got Bigfoot? No, it's the hippie van. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I, I can what, pull the it mystery out. Machine? I, I mean, no, it's because it's not painted right, and if, like I'm not gonna go grab it because it's too, too ten feet away from me. But it is, like, yeah, it's, it looks like an old seventies, uh, you know, like like a rape van. Sure, the grape van, the grape van. No, I said a rape van. Like, oh, like, oh no, I don't know about all that, man. I, well, does, it, does it come with I a mattress? I was alive back then, dude. <laughs> no, I don't know about no. it. Is there like a little mattress in Whoa. the back? You're like, look at the mattress in the back, and there's like a little bag of candy. <laughs> I know you've been living in Japan for a while and did that Rape Man comic, but I don't know what you're talking about. So, the, the great no, man... No, I said Rape Van. Yeah, I know what you man. said, man. <laughs> no, but, no, uh, it's a Rape... Oh, there was, that, rape there was a comic called Rape Man. And in an anime, too. Oh, God, that's, that's so bad. But yeah, anyway... Let's not talk about that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about... The, it, yeah, it's just basically a monster truck. It's awesome. It's But oh, it, that, was, that, that was a spoof, and that's why I love... I, I don't know, that's one reason I first, other than, like... I don't know the, the way to buy my, my 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 to get my attention to beers is show me something cool. Like there, I'm like, I'm like a little like what's it called like a uh, <clears throat> like a kitten or something. They're like ding 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 ding. You know, you, you shake some bells, show me some glittery stuff. I'm like, what what? Oh, let me try that. Chris, I'm gonna stop you right now because I completely lost my train of thought. I just smelt this beer and it smells absolutely hopalicious. Oh if yeah, there's such a word as hopalicious. Uh, I just it said it. It is it hopalicious. Okay, this is hopalicious. It's, it smells so hoppy, it almost smells like cat piss. It is a 6.5%. <laughs> it is only 42%, or not 42%, but 42 on the IBU, so it's actually not even overly <laughs> hoppy, but it's really punchy in the face hops. It's, yeah. I think it's it's because it's double dry hopped, which means that they, like, after they brew it, they, like, pour it, you know, like, basically pour it through some hops, which gives it um <clears throat> a lot of... Almost like a tea sensation where it gives it a lot of a lot of punch, but doesn't necessarily give you the flavor. You know, I love that it says at the very top of this can, it's not normal. <laughs> this is not normal. This is not your normal yeah, IPA. It's not. And it, that's, that's a beautiful thing. I yes. Think. All right. Well, Kampai. Cheers. Kampai. Wow. Oh, wow. and as you can see, wow. this is the color of that beer. It's kind of a... Hazy, yeah, kind of a hazy golden. Um, it's not really a dark amber, but it's a hazy golden. It's 
This is a really delicious beer. It it's, is a six and a half percent, so it is a, it is a fairly potent beer. I mean, yeah. When we, when you talk about beer, like six and a half doesn't sound like much, but you're up to the point of a damn near wine, right? Because wine starts at nine. I thought wine is generally twelve. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I drink that shit too, but yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't check the ABVs. You ever drink natural wine? Like wine without preservatives, like like old school wine, like how they made it like a thousand years ago. It's really popular in Japan right now. I've had a few. Um, they call it natural wine, bio wine. Uh, there's another I, term for I, it. Yeah, I mean, I, my problem is my problem personally when I've had the at least the, the ones I've tasted, which does does not mean this is the way it is, is that they were too sweet for me. Oh really? Some too were, sweet? Some of them were still on the sweeter side. Yeah. Were it, they from Michigan? Or yeah, yeah. Well, there's the ones you got. Yeah, the ones I have were from Michigan, but I'm not. I'm right. not even trying to throw anybody under the bus. I'm just saying, just, for me personally, mm. too sweet. Too sweet. Um, but no, I think I think you know I I don't have a problem with any which way, man. I mean, if, if you, anything fermenting, still you know distilling whatever you know is an amazing thing, man. Yeah. I mean, well, I love them. I, I was. I don't know. I gotta see if I can pick up a bottle. I think I got one bottle. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I just, I mean, honestly, like here, like we we're allowed in the states to make our own mm. beer and wine, which is all good. That is good. And um, but, it was illegal for a while. Well, I don't know about. Yeah, I'm sure it was in the 20s or something. But the, the <laughs> thing is, is like 110 you know, years ago. But the, but you know, like what's no, called, I'd like to see a little bit of uh, opening up with um, just home distillery a little bit. But whatever, you know. I've heard I've heard there's like stuff passing through the the halls of Congress some days, but you know mm-hmm. they, they can't do anything here in the states anyway that's constructive. So. I don't want to get political, but I'm just trying yeah, to say... Yeah, let's like, not get political, I'm man. just trying to say... Like, I, I'm, just, if, if, I'm just going to... I guess I'm getting as if you can make a spirit, they don't care. Why do they care if you boil it and take some take some of that vapor and make another spirit? But I, you know, I'm sure there's Like there's a rules. double spirit? Well, that's how you make a, that's how you make a uh, spirit. Is you take a beer, basically, and you distill it. Well, then it's a single spirit. Sure. Okay, cool. Lots of spirits. <laughs> Lots of spirits. <laughs> He's been drinking more than me, Faders. That's why he can't stop talking. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's okay, but man. But we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are, we are, what to call, man. We're guided by the spirit. No, I'm just, I'm, all right, stop. I'm just having a good old yeah, time. We don't, yeah. I'm having a good old time. Yeah, dude. Get faded. <laughs> Absolutely. Do we have some news to talk about? I mean, we have, we're, since we're out of beers, we're just drinking now. And we're just sitting there we're like, we're going to talk about this beer a little bit more. So, all right, so this is a very, very, very hoppy beer. It's very delicious. It's got a sweet tone to it. You know, it's like, it's sweet. It's like a sweet IPA, but it's, it's a lot of the IPAs yeah. that I've been drinking recently have been like grapefruit IPAs. You know, they're like citric, and you know, I, I think I'm done with those because I've had so many of those so, recently. So, so that so. that also comes from you know, I think if I'm not mistaken, a lot yeah. a lot of them it just comes from the the, the variety of hops. Oh yeah, I, dude. There's so you know many I mean? ways to the, grow hops and and, change and, and, and the it's more crazy. IPA, the more API or sorry IPA style hops, usually the more kind of like. Mm-hmm oils that have that lead towards that flavor mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i mean yeah j- that's why they all taste like similar even though they have the different names or whatever they're all like crossbreeds mm-hmm. it's kind of like what's going on in any other industry you know mm-hmm. i mean like where they want their whatever variety of it, whatever so it so there's so many different ways to grow hops yeah and like uh cross grain cross, grow, yeah, cross breed them and stuff cross breed hops yeah, so there's so many different kinds of IPAs. But anyway, the grapefruit IPAs, I've been drinking for a while and stuff. And, you know, I think I'm kind of, like, done with that. So it's refreshing to have kind of a sweeter IPA. And if that, you want to have... Doesn't, it's really not have sweet. It. it doesn't have the grapefruit flavor, does it, so bad? No, oh, this? No, not at all. No, not at all. I mean, it's got, a, it's got a fucking... It's got a hop flavor to it, but it's not grapefruit hop. It's more of sweet. It's sweet. It's really difficult to explain. It's like a sweet hop taste. A fresh hop taste, per fresh se? Hop. Maybe. That's, well, that's where... Yeah? That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is double fresh hopped. There we go. Well, on that note, let's move into the news. Faders. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move into the news. And I think we got... Since we did this uh, show not too long ago, like a couple of days ago, uh, the news that we have is a little bit limited, but I think that the news that we have is actually kind of cool. So here we go into the news. And all right, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, you're actually making me read something on the screen. So hell like, yeah. I'm going well, to like... blow it up. I'm going to blow it up. I'm oh. going to make it really big. So here we go. I'm going to stretch this out. I should See, this is live, man. This is live. That's what I'm trying to say. Like a lot of podcasts, they edit everything out. No, I don't want to edit it. I just feel like an idiot, man, trying to read this, man. But it's all right. Here we go. All right. Are you doing this one or am I doing this one? Do you want to go first? You know what? Let's get her Let's get her going. Get her done. Let's get her going. All right. All right. So, 
Our first news story is kind of a uh, torrid tale, I guess. Anyway, the man arrested for attempted murder of friend at Baron Sapporo. 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 Police in Sapporo. Hokkaido. 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 Sorry, dude. That's Sorry. all right. Sorry, we're, all, we're both drunk. It's okay. And, and, I, and I'm butchering everything, so I really do apologize. Have arrested a 40-year-old unemployed man on suspicion of attempted murder after he slashed a 48-year-old friend at the bar. According to police, the incident occurred around 5.55 a.m. Wednesday at the bar in Chuo. Chuo Ward, Kyoto News reported. Police say Nobuhiro Hishimuna has been drinking for several hours with his friend at the bar when they got into an argument. Police said Hishinua pulled out a knife and slashed his friend's face and arms. Damn. The bar manager called the police. Hishinua was quoted by the police as saying the knife was his, but he was drunk and can't remember what he did. The victim, who was also intoxicated, was taken to the hospital. Police said his wounds were not life-threatening. Fucking not life-threatening, man. When you're getting stabbed by a knife, I still think you're like having your stuff life-threatening, right? You can bleed out. Right, right. I mean, like, I, you can say that after the fact, but when you're getting, like, stabbed and cut, I don't want to be told that my life, my, my, my wounds are not life-threatening. Yeah, like, when your nose is on the floor, they're like, don't worry, you're going to live. You're like, but my fucking nose is on the floor. Yeah, right, like, I'm, I, like if I'm not married, I'm never getting probably a chick again or a dude or whatever whatever you're into, but you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you're like, I look deformed, I got a nose cut off, like, this dude's just... But don't worry, I'll live. <laughs> but I will live. Everything's cool. Oh, man. No. See, here's another thing. All right. What is the time? What, all right. This uh, happened at 5.55 a.m. In, in many bars in Japan, they kick you out when you fall asleep and, like, basically you're not drinking anymore, right? And then sometimes you can drink, you can sleep in a bar, right? You, they'll, they'll just let you sleep for a couple of hours. Then they'll kind of wake you up or something like that. And uh, this is, like, 5.55 a.m. Dude, I, I that don't dude was think. there all night, you think? Oh, yes. Or that was like a 12-hour probably, bender. <laughs> he probably showed up at like maybe like 11. Was it a bar in Sakaya? Who knows? He probably showed up at like 11. Him and his friend, they're all hanging out, talking or whatever. Then all of a sudden, like, you know, it's like 4, 5, 5.55. And all of a sudden, the conversation goes to like maybe like like left field or something. They're like, hey, man, remember that time in fourth grade when you were dating little Tomoko? She was mine! She oh, was mine, man. man. In fourth grade, she sat next to me. Her desk smelled like flowers, oh, you know. Oh. And all of a sudden, the guy's like, "Oh, fuck!" I'll let you. The bars you know? open. I'll let another bar <clears> open until they kick you out. Okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, like obviously from here, like we we our bar, our bar shut down around two. They kick you out like last minute at three or whatever, and tell you to get the hell out of there. Okay. There's some so, bars. There's all right. Clubs usually close at maybe. Well, it depends on the club. Nightclubs, uh, maybe six o'clock. Five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. In right? the morning? Yeah. Okay. And bars bars will close at like, sorry, if it's like kind of like a chain bar that's like all throughout like a city or a country or whatever, that will close probably about maybe one, two or three o'clock, right? Okay. <clears throat> but then you've got like just like privately owned bars and privately owned bars stay open until like the last person leaves. Or until they want to stop making money basically, right? Well, yeah. Kind I mean, of like I mean, that, not, 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 not just to make it like rough. It's like because I've been, I've been to bars before where we were like me and me and my buddies were like, all right, what time do you guys close? And they close at eleven or something, right? And they're like, you know, the bartender look at us and like, when do you guys want to stop drinking? Yeah, because they were going to stay open and make money as long as we were there. They just and they close, did, like they because they because they had that choice, like right? Yeah, they could either close the store down and not make any money. Or keep the keep the restaurant open in Detroit. Make sure. Yeah, but basically, no, even here in Ipsy, man, if that was in Detroit, like it, 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 like there was this one spot. You can do anything. Well, no, they just, they they usually closed at like say ten thirty or eleven. It was kind of early for a bar, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, because they were a restaurant, and they were like, "Oh, if you're gonna sit here and drink, dude, we'll, we'll hang out with you." And like, mm-hmm. we'll you know, they, I mean, they probably would kick us out at like midnight or one, mm-hmm. but they would have they would have hung out for like an hour or two, is what I'm trying to say. So, I just yeah. had no idea what it was like here, and so. In Tokyo, you can drink as long. I mean, this is five fifty-five a.m. Well, hopefully, is that like twenty-four hours drinking laws there? Well, you can drink whenever you want. Oh, like, so you, it's not like the states where you're like stuck for like. Oh, Chris, archaic rules. No, 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 no. I'm just saying because we have these weird, like mostly religious rules. Of all right, we got it. We got it. Yeah, all the rules go back to the Puritans. But here in Japan, oh, well, not here, but, but over yeah. there where I live in yeah. Japan and stuff. Basically, we've got these things, and they're, they're beautiful. They're called convenience stores. Convenience stores are open 24 hours a day. Yeah. And you can walk into a convenience store any time of the day, buy any kind of alcohol you want, 
go into the street, open that dust alcohol, and uh, consume it to until, until your heart's content. I, mean, I, don't, I don't see the problem as long as you're not causing no issue. Well, that's exactly how we see it here over there in Japan. It's just like basically as long as you're not wasted causing trouble, that's totally fine. Yeah. I mean, you can be as faded as you want walking down the street, you know, as long as you're I mean, not you're bothering not, anybody. Yeah, yeah why, why, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I, that's where I'm confused about the yeah. issue, especially in like, you know, whatever. You know, I mean, it's like a glorified yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's That's fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, because so, in Vegas you can do the same thing. You just, you just pour a drink and you have a good time. Well, you can have plastic bottles in the street, sure. but yeah. Sure. But I mean, the, but this is where like somebody fucked up. It's like 5.55 a.m., you know, and like maybe, I don't know, maybe it's satanic. Maybe it's like kind of like a number off. Yeah, you know, maybe that dude also but, like lost his jobs or something. Like, I'm not making excuses, but he's probably like all wildly about something. You know what I mean? He's all... No, he, well, what day was this? What, cause, what day cause, was no, because he said he got... He got into an argument with his homie and shot him, dude, or whatever. No, he, he cut up his nose or something. Who sure. knows? But, uh, but it, uh, the thing is, it's just like, I mean, but this happens all the time, though. You know, people drink until 5.55 a.m. Sometimes these guys go to work after that, you know? Yeah, so, well, they do that here, too, man, unfortunately. Or yeah. fortunately. Whatever. I, I don't give I don't. I actually don't care. If you, if you can man mm. up to that, man, yeah. you're badass. But the thing is, though, I, I love the Japanese laws. You know, the laws in Japan are absolutely fantastic. You know, yeah, I mean, it's just like... You can drink as much as you want. You can drink just whatever don't be, you want. Just don't be an asshole. Yeah, just don't be an asshole. I mean, it's kind of frowned upon when you're in a public place. Like, if you're on a train and you're drinking, like, a bottle of, like, whatever, you know? Yeah, I mean... They're like, oh, come on, dude. You don't have to do that. There's no just because you can, no. because Just because you can doesn't yeah. mean you have to. Mm-hmm. And I really... I, I, yeah, I appreciate that. But, yeah, so... Anyway, next story. Next story. We're, we're, just, we're just mumbling on, dude. Okay, uh, Chris, we read. You're reading. I just read. You read. No, of course I'm reading. But um, like I'm illiterate, man. <laughs> no, you're not. But uh, oh. this story here is a religious story, and oh. we we re- we we respect our religions here in Angafiri, Japan. Every religion there is, and even some other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got a fake religion or whatever, we respect that too. Yep. I mean, shit, man. What are we believe in? No, no, no disrespect to anybody out there in the world. Yeah, you guys all enjoy your life. Yep, of course. So here we go. Fake monk scam foreign tourists out of their cash in Tokyo. The story took place in Tokyo. Uh, Japan has a reputation for being a safe place to travel to, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't keep your wits about you while you're visiting the country's top tourist spots. Once a spot where you should be particularly careful is Wayno. Uh, yeah, we're, Wayno, you know, I don't know who that Wayno's is. actually kind of a safe place. There's like uh, museums and all sorts of great stuff yeah, there. Is that, is that, but that means it's full of tourists, right? Oh, there's tourists everywhere yeah, in Tokyo. Yeah, so that means, that was, there's that tourists mean, that means, everywhere in Tokyo. That, that's dude. like fair, fresh fish on the line, as they say. Well, well, yeah, okay, well, let's read on. Okay, where there have been recent reports of fake monks scamming tourists out of their money. One monk looks like me. No, I'm joking. Okay, uh, moving oh, forward. Johnny, there's a picture. I've seen a picture. Oh, that does look like you. Oh, no, that's not me at all. I've got better hair. Okay, monk, fake monks have actually been appearing at this particular shrine since as far back as 2016 and 17. A Chinese national posing as a fake monk was arrested <laughs> in relation to the scam with tourists now back in increasingly high numbers. Yeah, it's, dude, I, I got on a train right before I came here to, to yeah, the States. Yeah, all of a sudden, it was like, and, busy as no, shit. Yeah, no, I, I was on the train, and I was like, dude, this makes me feel like I'm back in Brooklyn. Like, nobody's speaking Japanese. Everybody's talking loud. Everybody's on their cell phones. I'm hearing five different languages, and they're not. None of them are Japanese. I'm just like, damn, dude. Tourists are back, you know? But that's a good thing. That's good for the country. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, with tourists now back in increasingly high numbers, the fake monks have returned to the shrines uh, as well as similarly as previous years. They were selling prayer beads and amulets under the guide that their money paid for them will act as a donation to help their shrine to help repair their shrine. <clears throat> it's hard to read this on this far away, dude. I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. <clears throat> all right. One last paragraph. On recent news reports, witnessed a tourist being scammed out of their money at a shrine as the monk dressed as dressed in an orange robe approached them and gave them an amulet, thanking them to thinking them as to be a gift. The tourist thanked the monk, who then insisted they needed to pay for it, with the price being of ten thousand yen. Okay, so basically, there's monks there at these shrines, and they're asking for money. 
for donations for these shrines. And, and then on top you, of they, that, they hand, you, they hand you something to like, pay me. Yeah, they're handing you an ambulance. So basically, it's like Times Square in New York. Because they're like, all right, if you go to Times Square in New York, New York, <clears throat> you get a photo with somebody that looks like one of the Ninja Turtles. After you get that photo, they're like, yo, pay me 50 bucks. And you're like, what? They're like, pay me 50 bucks. You took a photo with me. And you're like, no, 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 no. And then they get pissed off and stuff. And then all of a sudden, you got Michelangelo and D- Lana, Lana, was it Donatello or whatever, one of these Ninja Turtles trying to beat your ass or whatever. And Ninja then they, Turtles. Yeah. And well, I mean, dude, when I was in New York the last time, there's tons of Ninja Turtles. Okay. I mean, there's like Ninja Turtles running all over the place. It's like a, it's some kind of like a Halloween parade. But then they get really pissed off. When they get really pissed off, they'll take off their 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 mask or whatever. And you're like, oh no! And it's like a real person. You see that? And they're like, okay, I'm gonna like knock you out unless you give me fifty bucks. Now it's not like that in Japan. That's how it is in New York right now. It's just a bunch of monks, uh, quote unquote monks, people posing as monks trying to get your money. So when you go to, you know, it's kind of a scam, dude. Or no, no, not scam. It is a scam, but it's kind of a shame that these people are posing as monks going there and trying to get money from all the tourists because like when the tourists really want to support the shrine when they really want to help like the shrine already, out yeah they're already they're already been scammed and they feel like like they don't feel like they want to put any part of it yeah they're like dude i'm not gonna fucking support the shrine yeah i'm not gonna support like whatever because the thing is it is probably a scam they're probably just gonna we take just my money take advantage of. Yeah. yeah 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 no i got what you're saying that's, that's unfortunate because i'm sure that like mm. there is like good good to be had by the fucking by the by you know what i mean by the uh People doing the, the the work. Yeah. Oh, you're getting faded now too. All right. But uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 this is messed up. You know the thing is though. I mean, all these motherfuckers that are dressing up as monks, going out there and trying to get like money and stuff, whatever, or selling like fake beads or whatever like that. The thing is though, if there is such thing as a uh, Buddhist hell, I'm not sure if there is a Buddhist hell, but these motherfuckers are gonna be the first one in line to go there, dude. So don't fuck around re- with religion, man. Doesn't matter if it's not a religion that you don't believe in, but you should definitely respect all religions. You know what I'm saying? You know what, man? One day somebody's going to be wrong with the wrong one, man. They're going to be very unhappy. Well, I think these motherfuckers are, dude. Seriously. I don't know. What, you know what I mean? Especially, especially at the end of the day, like most of, most, most of the simplest thing is just like don't fuck each other over. Yeah. And like is, is, if you can't be like decent enough to not fuck somebody over, man, like you're probably already screwed. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all I'm saying, man. Like, I don't want to get about mm. any which one. I'm just trying to say is like, if you don't have the decency to take care of your your brother brethren, you're probably already screwed. Yeah, well, I mean, if there is such thing as a religion, I think all of them. Well, I think all religions kind of believe in that one thing: just treat everybody yeah. like with Equal. kindness yeah. and equally. That's what I'm and if, if we're equal, in there, we're yeah. Out of the and uh, yeah, I'm going, but dude, that's fucking really dark to go to. Like, dude, could you imagine like somebody going to like like a like a, a shrine? I mean, a shrine dressed as like a religion that you don't believe in, trying to scam people. I nah, mean, that, shit, you're, you're just asking for trouble. Yeah, but I think you're just asking for trouble. You're just an asshole. Especially if you're not part of like the country, or the culture, or anything like that. You yeah, go to a different country if you're just looking for as a, response, a tourist. If you're looking for a response because you want clicks or something, you're just an asshole. No, no, no. This guy, no, these guys are fucking doing it for money. But uh, all right, so so we have another one here, right? All right, so next right, yeah, yeah, all right. Okinawa pub post Japanese only admission sign based on someone shaky logic. Wait, based on so, some shaky logic. Yeah, okay. they're written all weird. No, That's fine. Just, yeah. Outside the uh, Ikazuya Japanese pub. Izakaya. Izakaya Japanese pub in Naha, the capital city of Okinawa Prefecture. A notice had been posted by the management. At the top was an illustration of a cute, cheerful, cheerful samurai bowing deeply in greeting, but the words were decidedly less welcome. The first line notice, written in Japanese, translate to. Because our staff can only speak Japanese, which is repeated immediately, which is repeated immediately below in English. Hmm. After that, though, the notice continued in English only, declaring Japanese only. We don't allow customers from overseas to enter our bar. A photo of the notice. Bars with Japanese customers only policies aren't referred of in Japan, but they're becoming increasingly uncommon in the modern age. Moreover, when you do come across such establishments, they're generally dedicated bars with menus almost entirely consisting of drinks and often the presence of a hostess or floor aid lady, pseudo hostess. Hostesses. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
pseudo hostesses as Akaya. On the other hand, are essentially restaurants where customers are expected to order both food and drinks, and it's comparatively rarer for them to have such exclusionary, exclusionary admission policies. According to the local newspaper, Okinawa Times, the notice has been posted since at least a year ago, during which the management has turned away non-Japanese would-be customers. Eventually, the sign became to the attention of two members of Naha Residence Group that reported that to a various government departments, including the Naha City Tourism Division and the Okinawa Convention Bureau. This prompted a visit by members of the Tourism Division in August and this year, which they asked the owner to take the sign down. Especially in light of the increasing numbers of overseas travelers visiting Okinawa, Okinawa, following the lifting of the pandemic protocols, but the owner refused to do so. Okay, we can stop right there. The rest is just uh, pretty much a repetition of like everything. Yeah, yeah, it's that. pretty so, much all the same shit. But yeah, I mean, we get the gist of it. So, uh, what do you think of this? I mean, this is kind of uh, you couldn't do this in America right now, right? So let's see. Well, you, got... you, you, all right. I don't know if you could or not. I mean, you. You could try the crap. I mean, it, I'm sure it would be like a clickbait article somewhere. I'm doing mad. Um, I'm sure somebody would get sued and would get caught up in the courts. No, you can't legally do it. Is what I'm, I'm going to tell you that straight up. Like you can't legally discriminate in America like that. But the the reality is, is like I, I guess this is my problem with it. Is I I, I don't think there's any way to change this owner's opinion. And I just wouldn't maybe give him any money. And maybe maybe if like the like people didn't give him any damn money, and the other people that like were like, you know, I like the food, but it's just as good as fucking the guy down the street, and he doesn't have such an oppressive fucking view. Well, maybe I'll just go down there. I don't think it should be. I don't think it should be like delegated though. Unfortunately, like like I don't think somebody should tell you to be that way. But I don't. I just don't think that people should be that way. Man. You know what I mean? I guess. What yeah. Say. Well, obviously. Like, like and that, that to me is just a very negative experience. Like, it also makes it more like somebody like me who doesn't give two fucks about anything. Why do I want to even try your restaurant, man? Like, why do I even want to give you a dollar? Yeah. Because you're kind of an asshole, like right off the bat. So, like, why? Why do I even want to give you a dollar, or even try mm. to give you a dollar? Like, I there's so many places, you know, and especially so many smaller like um countries. You're not even smaller countries, but like when you're talking about like. Whatever, whatever it is, you know, you're, t- you're talking about throughout Asia, you know, like, you have all these, like, street vendors, you have all these, you know, restaurants, you have all this, all this good food. Yeah. There's so much food to fucking eat. There's yeah. There's so much good food to eat. Absolutely. That, that like... Whoa. <laughs> Look at all this. Hey, what's up? I'm Johnny, a.k.a. The Spill Tink, the one and only, and uh, today I'm going to make a popsicle painting. I'm really excited to do this. I've got all my paints here. It takes about this much paint to make a popsicle painting. And uh, I've got my two other most important ingredients. Very strong hot coffee. Oh, actually, that's not that hot. But still, it's strong coffee. <laughs> and I've got punk rock music. With these two things, nothing could go wrong. All right, with that said, let's rock. I got stuck right now. Three thousand. Yeah, that was like five hundred pages long with that that guy. That like, well, we simplified it. Okay, here we go. Eighty women, dude. Dude, damn. Well, it's right, not that big go. of a deal, but okay, here we go. Eighty women arrested in January to September in Tokyo's Kabuki Cho Ward for allegedly prostitution. Bum bum bum. Is that, is that like rubbing tugs or something? Is that what they're trying to bust? Oh, rubbing tugs might be illegal. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, they're illegal everywhere, but it doesn't mean they're not there, man. I mean, no they're... legal. But oh, I, th- legal. I think, oh, I think, okay, I think okay, vaginal's okay. bad. I don't know about that. I'm just trying yeah. to say in the, in the well, US, I know. I know there's like the ribby tib- tibbies, man, and they're like, but they're illegal as fuck, you know. Really? All right, well, here we go. Um, Eighty women have been arrested between January and September. Suspicion, suspicion of prostitution, said allegedly soliciting customers. 
on the streets of Tokyo's Kabukicho Nightlife District, police said Tuesday. Now, let me tell you about Kabukicho. Kabukicho is traditionally the red light district of Tokyo. It's been the red light district for a long, 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 since like pre-World War II, okay, right? Okay, so it, okay. It, it's, so it's, always, it's always been like a lavacious place. Yeah, but the thing is like right now they're cleaning it up. They put in a couple of Starbuckses. There's like a Disney store. They have a huge like AMC theater. They got the Kabuki Cho like Grand we don't Hotel. We have that in the U.S. Well, the same thing happened in New York. You know, so like in New York, like Times Square, Times Square was like the deep, dark and like seedy area. But now Times Square is like Disneyland. Right. And I think that's what's happening right here. Like basically they're just busting all the hookers. Once they bust all the hookers and they put in a couple more Starbucks, it, it's they're fucking pushing, curtains. They're going to push out to another location, basically. Right. Well, they're just all going to go online just like Amsterdam. Sure. So, the Metropolitan Police Department has been cracking down on prostitution in Kabukicho amid a surge of activity in the wake of the relaxation of the country's COVID-19 restrictions and due to the social media exposure of the trade there. Uh, the arrested women were aged between 20 to 46 years old. Police said 46-year-old hookers. That's old. That's, That's old, old for a hooker. Holy shit. Who's in paying Japan. Who's paying for that shit? Dudes with kinky shit, dude. They're like, I want some fluffy, fluffy handcuffs. Okay, before COVID-19 pandemic in 2019, 53 people were arrested for alleged prostitution. The tally dropped in 2023 to 23 in 2020 due to the coronavirus outbreak. Okay, more number, sense. number, number, so, number, so, number. So, so it was normally like 60 people getting busted. It dropped and it went back to 60 people. So it sounds like to me that there was no explosion. Prostitution went back to normal. Uh huh. Or at least busted prostitution went back to normal. Yep, yeah, that's true. Okay, the police highlighted that almost 40% of these women were seeking to pay off debts from money spent in host clubs or so called underground boys' bands who encourage fans interactions. Okay, that's weird. Weird. Okay, um, well, I'll explain that in a minute if you want. Um, to help these women, police, Tokyo police have introduced welfare initiatives for them uh, upon their release. Since 2022, the police have also provided specialized counseling services to support their return to normal lives in society. Okay, well, that's good. You know, that's really good that the uh, government is actually trying to help these women try to do something with their lives other than sell their bodies. So that's kind of a cool thing that they're doing to like these poor girls. It's not a bad thing. But the thing is, it's just like, I think most of these girls are just either they, they have nothing else to do or they're in debt. Because like in, like in like Tokyo, we don't have a drug problem. Like in America, we like a lot of people turn to tra- prostitution because of drugs. drugs and yeah, yeah, there's yeah. destitute and there's nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else for them to do. But in Japan, it's just like, you know, you get into debt and you're like, well, fuck, dude, I'm in debt for this much money. What can I do? I get a job at 7-Eleven or something, or I can sell my body, and make a lot of money. And I think that's like generally what a lot of people do. But it's kind of cool that like the government's trying to help these people out and get them out of debt and stuff by doing other things. So that's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, it works. That's awesome. If it does work, not even in the back. But I'm not even saying this. I'm not even saying this sour. I'm trying to say sorry. If that, yeah. if that works. That's awesome. It is awesome. You know, kind of a cool thing about today's show is uh, we started off positive and we're ending positive. Yeah, so the oh, government's helping people. Man, like, like yeah. all, actually, at the end of the day, faders are all about taking care of each other. That's what they need to be doing. That's right. Because ain't nobody else taking care of us. No. So, Nobody's taking care of me. Not even trying to be like, you know, anti-anything, man. Just just take care of each other, man. Have a, have a drink with your neighbor, man. Give them a hug. Yep. Tell, tell everybody they're all good, man. You know what I mean? Have a good old time. Like, enjoy life, man, because we only got X amount of time in this shit, so just have a good time, man. Enjoy sure. your neighbor, and, you know, enjoy your, you know what I mean? Like, you give your neighbor a beer, man, maybe maybe the guy's an asshole. Maybe you give him three beers, maybe he's still an asshole, man. Maybe, like, the fifth time you give him a beer, he's like, you know what? He's going to cut off man, your nose. My old man beat me when I was a kid, and I was an, I'm an asshole because of it. But by the way, thank you, because like, you've really saved my life, man. Give me a beer every day for the last three weeks. 
You never know what the hell is going to happen, man. So just take care of people. Is what I'm trying to say. Just, just take, take care, care of people. Take care of people, but don't don't drink too, don't drink with them until 5:55 oh, yeah, a.m. Yeah, yeah, yo, do not do that. Yeah, do not yeah, do that. You, you know, nothing like, nothing one, good two, is going to happen. Beer, three beers, nothing also, good is going like, to happen from drinking. I'm going to cut off your nose. Nothing good will happen from drinking with a stranger for like eight hours, dude. Nothing. So just. That 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 is the truth. Yes, there is a limit. There is a there limit. is a limit yeah. of, of of like luxury and love, man. Just do not do it all the time. But yeah, take care of people, faders. And then like like subscribe. I'm pushing it. I'm looking at buttons. I don't know where they're at. This guy has no idea what he's doing. But he's I have no doing idea it. what I'm doing. But, but I'm he's trying, doing a pretty good I'm job. I'm trying to help this kid, man. You know, it's like my, my younger. <laughs> I'm glad cousin you called me a kid. Hey, but... My younger cousin, my whole month. Oh. Oh. Um, but yeah, <laughs> like subscribe. This is the best thing in the world, man. Mr. Oh well, thank you very Mr. much. Johnny. I really appreciate it. Yes, Johnny's got faded, and we're on Japan. We're yeah, that's oh, right. Where we're, am I at? Oh, I don't know. Well, actually, this this room kind of looks Japanese, so it's all good. But um, uh, faders, thank you very much for tuning into this very special episode, uh, uh, hosted by by cousin Chris. I mean, dude, you're you're like talking ninety percent of the time. Blessing I just us, can't shut blessing up us. Drunk. I know, I know, you're wasted, but you're blessing us with so, so much amazing knowledge, and we really all appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Hi, for being here, man. Fried okay. chicken keeps me well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, both of our parents are really happy. Uh, your mom and my mom. So, um, yeah, faders. Okay, to support the show, you can go to iTunes. If you're not watching us on iTunes, we're on iTunes. Give us a five star review. Subscribe. Um, also, we're on. No, no, that's YouTube. No, no. Yeah, YouTube. Ah! I told you, subscribe, uh, like, you, and all that stuff, password. man. Okay, YouTube, like and subscribe. iTunes, Thank you. five star review. Write right something Sorry, groovy. Guys. We're on Podbeam, we're on Spotify, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on X, we're all over the place. He said, just like Luffy, man. Luffy, yeah. Luffy the uh, monkey. Oh, wait, Luffy? Like, I uh, know, what's it called? Uh, One Piece, my friend. One Piece, One Piece yeah, 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 yeah. I got the gum bum fruit. Right, anyway, yeah. I'm too fucking faded. Faders, thank you so much. Too faded. Uh, too faded. All right, well, we're going to be uh, drinking some of your whiskey upstairs in a minute, so uh, this is not distilled, distilled too spirits. faded, but in about five minutes, they're going to be too faded. Distilled spirits. I love your spirits. Your spirits are awesome. I love my spirit, too. Uh, hey. <laughs> I love you guys. All right, faders. Okay, I hope you... If you're as fit as thank we you, are, thank you, faders. not thank driving. Thank you, faders, for like, putting up for with both of us for an hour this time. Yeah, thank maybe you, all plus. three of you. It's probably your mom, One, my two, mom, three, and maybe... Four. Uh, uh, and I'm Kathy. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you think that Kathy's watching this shit? She's, like, drinking a bottle of beer. She's like... Oh, yeah. Man, these oh, assholes yeah. are fucking oh, yeah. drunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. David, check him out. Look, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, they're probably in their basement drinking, too. So, whatever. Yeah, that's what we anyway, do. Anyway, faders, thank you so much. It's fucking awesome fading with you guys. We hope you had a great time. Peace.